To see more tours and test drives, be sure to check out tinyhome.tours. Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here from Chris and G Travels. Today we have Terry from Frost RV in Tucson, Arizona. We are going to be doing a test drive of a 2009 So Solera. This is on the Mercedes chassis. Ready to do this? Ready to go. This is a really excellent riding chassis. It drives just like a minivan. Uh, very good turning radius. Mercedes diesel engine, 188 horsepower. Very good uh, high torque on a diesel engine. You find that you get better mileage in this RV than about any RV on the market. It's going to get around 14 to 16 or more miles per gallon. What's the total length of this particular coach? This is called a 24 foot mop. It's going to measure probably just a little over that, like all RVs, about 25, 25 and a half feet. It's got a nice big slide out with a dinette and closets. Uh, this particular coach is a 2009 model and its uh, previous owner did a, an ex extraordinary amount of work on it. He added a, a 600 watt solar system. That's a uh, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So you can have electricity 110 power from your batteries. So that's, you know, for dry camping in the woods without hookups, this is going to just keep your batteries up. You'll be able to run everything, uh, excepting maybe the air conditioner. The drive in this is extremely quiet, uh, very powerful. You know, we're getting onto a freeway right now, and, uh, you know, it's not like the old uh, days of an RV crawling uphill at 20 miles an hour. These chassis are used extensively in Europe for delivery vehicles, and so they were well tested before they were brought into the RV market. This guy, the uh, previous owner, added a, a backup monitor, which makes it really easy to see what's going on around you for safety reasons. Again, having the uh, solar system that is on this coach is, uh, you know, almost over the top. You know? different inverters and a uh, sealed uh, forklift type battery with a lot of uh, holding power to store the 12 volt power. Was this coach used as a uh, as a full-time vehicle beforehand or was no, this more of a trip? This was more of a part-time use, uh, recreational use. You can tell that based on the uh, interior and you know knowing the previous owners. They did take some uh, really nice trips. They went up into the uh, East Coast and uh, Nova Scotia. And got a lot of nice stories out of these folks. Well cared for. The uh, previous owner was an engineer who had all of this equipment installed and very, very well, uh, you know, installed by professionals. The unique thing with this is its size and having nice size slide out to have room while you're camping plus a made down bed you don't have to crawl up or make the sofa into a bed you have a bed all ready to use that's what we were mentioning when we did the interior just how how spacious everything was and how much storage was around yeah there's a huge outside storage compartment uh, on the passenger side for stowing all your goodies now we're going to do a little uh, residential and business drive to show you how easy this is to maneuver. And, uh, you know, anybody with RVs is going to go to a shopping center at some point in time. It's always easy to show an RV on the freeway and stretch down high speed. That is true. You hardly see RVs being driven around parking lots. <laughs> a lot of people are interested in getting into the backwoods areas and hard to reach areas. Beach camping. Tight places back east, California, and all kinds of spots. This is the kind of rig that can go about anywhere. So, when people are looking at this type of rig, are they looking for something that's more versatile, like what we're doing, or do you find people doing full time in rigs like this? Most full timers are looking for a little more room, but then, you know, there are, there's a lot of folks who, uh, you know, this type of unit has plenty of livability for them. So, we've really seen it both ways. And we're here at the Tucson Premium Outlet Mall. Just some, uh, just 
just standard maneuvering just to give you an idea that it's, it's an easy rig to drive. I can only imagine trying to bring my Class A in here, especially with a tow vehicle. Exactly, you bring about uh, 45, 50 feet in here and it can be a little overwhelming. So when this parks, it, does this take up just two standard spots, or is this a... Uh, yeah, this would actually take up a little less than two standard, standard parking spaces. You see we're pulling into a nice double spot here. I pull up to the front of this spot. See, we have most of the space behind us, so it's really handy for getting into out of tight places. We're always worried about getting into a spot that you can't get out of. Let's see that you're all the way around. Clear this entire. Oh, nice nut to bump the curb on again. <laughs> Maneuverability is excellent. That's great. Turning radius on this chassis is much tighter than on the American-made chassis in the uh, C-Class type motorhomes. That's what we do with most folks. We get them on a test drive and let them, let them bump up a couple of curbs. If they don't bump a curb or two, they're not learning. <laughs> That's true. You can really feel the acceleration. That's right. That's what uh, having the torque available at a low RPM with the diesel is going to really give you the climbing power up hills, accelerating uh, this much weight onto freeway speeds, and it really gives you a kind of a comfort uh, level, you know, so it's not like a white knuckle fever, yeah. grabbing the steering wheel like a, you're in everybody's way. You will pass people with this RV. <laughs> yeah, we don't ever really pass anybody in, the, in our RV. One thing with this coach too that's really cool is how slender it is. Like with me, and I have to scoot over in the traffic with this, you're just pretty much. Well, that's going true. This is, uh, I think, about seven and a half feet wide. So your standard Class C's will be like your coach, about 102 inch, uh, basically eight and a half feet. You know, it is easier to park, like, let's say, along uh, beach areas and different spots. But the maneuverability, when, I, when you get. Uh, People who haven't driven an RV in one of these chassis, it's just like uh, driving a minivan type situation, very easy. Yeah, that's what G mentioned when she was sitting in it, that she would feel comfortable driving. Absolutely, we should have her doing this drive. <laughs> <laughs> once, once she gets some time under her belt driving the uh, RV, we'll, right. we'll start looking into that. But she, she mentioned it's, like, it's just like a large truck up here. Correct. We do take time with our customers at Frost and we give them some time to drive the unit and we will take them out before they take delivery and give them some pointers on maneuvering and you know watching uh, things like that going on in front of us. Yeah. Always be be uh, looking four, five or six seconds ahead. Exactly. You do have a lot of weight, and so you do have to realize how much time it takes to stop all that uh, RV. So even though this is a Class C, it still has a bit of braking time you have to take into consideration? It does. It has more weight than the standard van that this was designed for, but they have upgraded all of the axles in these, so it really has no problem stopping. We, uh, we do a stop test, but not on the freeway. Yeah. Folks. Yeah. That was one thing that was uh, interesting when we bought our RV, like they just handed us the keys uh -huh. and it, we're just like, you're letting us take this right now? Like, you know, so, it's, it's very uh, interesting when you get that big rig just out there waiting on you. Let me also say our service department, when we deliver a coach and we say deliver when people come for a full blown walkthrough orientation on the coach, we want to show them how everything works and show them that everything is working. Our dealership is located on I-10, um, just south of the Orange Grove exit. Uh, coming from the east, uh, heading west, you get off at the Sunset exit, we're right on the frontage road here in Tucson. You can't miss our uh, snowman, Frost RV, who has the coolest deals in the desert. 
we, we try to treat people like human beings, which may be unusual in this industry. <laughs> time to time. But we do specialize in uh, very clean pre-owned RVs. We do carry brand new motorhomes, fifth wheels, and travel trailers. We try to have a little variety, a little something for everybody. Well, thanks for uh, having me along on this test drive. If somebody's interested in uh, contacting you or looking at one of your coaches, how could they find you? The easiest way is probably frostrv.com right on the web. We post at least uh, 25 to 30 pictures of each coach. And our pricing is right there for you to see what we're asking for these coaches. Cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To see more tours and test drives, be sure to check out tinyhome.tours.